What comes to mind when I say the word safari? Perhaps the African savanna? Elephants, lions, and hippos. But what if I told you that in the 1960s, the state of New Mexico decided they wanted a safari of their very own? How did this happen, and why did it turn out to have such disastrous results? Come along, and you'll soon find out. The African oryx is a species native to the Kalahari Desert in southern Africa. It typically eats grasses in their native habitat. Their population is kept in check by natural predators such as lions, so that only a small percentage of their young will reach maturity. While this might be fine for their natural environment, New Mexico is a completely different landscape, and that would become evident very quickly. So why did African oryx end up in the American Southwest in the first place? According to the National Park Service, the New Mexico Department of Fish and Game was responsible for the species' introduction. Wanting to insert exotic animals throughout the state to increase hunting opportunities, the department introduced ibexes and African barbary sheep, and then starting in 1969 came the onslaught of oryx. Over the following decade, almost 100 oryx were released onto the White Sands Missile Range. 1974 is the first year that oryx hunts began in New Mexico, and hunting still occurs today in an attempt to stabilize the growing population. It was mentioned earlier that New Mexico is a very different landscape to the Kalahari Desert, and one of the key differences that allows the oryx population to grow is the lack of true natural predators. Yes, there are coyotes and mountain lions in New Mexico, but thus far they have not been very effective at controlling the numbers of oryx in the region. They are highly adapted to the Chihuahua Desert, says Casey Wagman, a member of the Wildlife Society. And he's right! The population has grown to the point that in 1996, the National Park Service had to put up a boundary fence stretching 67 miles around White Sands National Park, then a national monument, to keep the oryx from entering the park and affecting native plants and animals. In summary, what may have started out as a 20th century dream of an exotic hunter's paradise has now turned into a 21st century problem. This is a problem which may only continue to grow in the future as the oryx compete with local cattle and native mammals like mule deer for resources. Only time will show the full effects of what happened because New Mexico ordered a safari. This has been an RSE Adventure Minute. Thanks for watching.